delivered by her liver. Y'all know who the fuck is with her. Tell I brought to call a sitter. Have her have her extra chipper. Blame it on the extra liquor that was filling up my sitter. My name is Thig, aka Thig Nat of the Physics. I never really wanted to be a musician growing up. Started out as a hobby, I think like junior or senior year in, in high school when me and, and Justo were friends and he was into DJing a lot. So we would share CDs and, and tapes. Actually it was mostly tapes back then. Justo came to school one day and he had like written this rap. So he spit me like this long ass rap. Went home that night doing like a Wu-Tang record or something like that. Wrote my own little raps to him. Came back the next day and spit him a rap. I think we kind of did that for a while, just like writing raps and going back and forth and back and forth. That was the beginning of the physics. My name is Justin Vernon Hare, aka Justo from the physics. I think you, you pick up a lot from just your environment in terms of like tastes and uh, what you're exposed to. And it definitely affected me growing up. In the South End and growing up around my, my family, it was a lot, of, a lot of hip hop being in that environment. So that's where the kind of the heavy rap influence played such a big part. And then going to O'Day, that was the first time I went to a school where there was like kids from all over the city, kids from different economic backgrounds, kids of different uh, nationalities and, and ethnic backgrounds. Shine bright like a diamond. And <laughs> hey, you were doing that the 90s walk on that tape. I'm not into the 90s and 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 I'm Like just walked off the table one day. <laughs> I was sitting there, yeah, suicide. And then died? <laughs> suicide. Straight suicide. Yeah, you, you saw it? Yeah, yeah, I was watching it. He had, he had never walked off the you table. You just watched it happen? Yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked science, so I majored in, in biology. So I pursued that to make money so we can put out Future Talk, so we can put out High Society in three piece and Love is a Business. It's, it's amazing how, how many parallels there are to like making music and to creativity. I think people think of science and creative endeavors as being like these two separate worlds that never, never overlap. The way that we make music is kind of like a scientific experiment. So that's why I think the name The Physics is, is pretty appropriate because in a science experiment, if you're trying to figure out some sort of answer, right, basically throw a lot of different ideas and a lot of different ingredients into a, an experiment and you kind of see what happens and you track your results. We're out here doing it. Just rather... over the building. <laughs> Big man, the building. You know, we're doing it rather sizable. <laughs> you got any more? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Now I have things that I'm passionate about that I wasn't even like five years ago, like photography. I probably do something photography related every single day. Got the desire to do more and to, and to get better at it. So it's been like a snowball effect and I've been doing it more and more ever since. No, my, I mean, it sounds corny, but my friend or my influences, it's like hanging out with people and you no know, cracking jokes and having a good time and going on tour and experiencing the things that we've experienced influenced me. I would say that our music is personal music. The people that are speaking to you are speaking to you genuinely about themselves and about what they experience and about what they love. It's gonna make your head nod. You're gonna fuck with the beast. You're gonna wanna have a good time. It's not conscious hip hop, but it's hip hop that'll make you think me and Thig, I think, approach music in the same way where we never feel like we can't get better. We always feel like we can get better and we can improve. Everything that we've done outside of music has just been 
to sustain our lives so we can keep doing music. 